motion newton second law of motion states that when a net external force sigma f acts on an object of mass m the acceleration a that results is directly proportional to the net force and has a magnitude that is inversely proportional to the mass the direction of the acceleration is the same as the direction of the net force or sigma f will be equal to m into a si unit of force is newton which is equal to kilogram meter per second square so 1 newton will be the force that produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in a body of mass 1 kg it must be noted that newton is not a base unit but it is a derived unit because we derive it from the units of mass and acceleration now other units of force in cgs or british imperial measurement system are dyne and pound respectively now when using the second law to calculate the acceleration it is necessary to determine the net force that acts on the object in this determination a free body diagram helps enormously a free body diagram is a diagram that represents the object and the forces that act on it only the forces that act on the object appear in a free body diagram forces that the object exerts on the environment are not included now this picture illustrates the use of a free body diagram here two people are pushing a stalled car the mass of the car is 1850 kg one person applies a force of 275 newton to the car while the other applies a force of 395 newton towards right hand side both forces act in the same direction a third force of 560 newton also acts on the car but in a direction opposite to that in which the people are pushing this force arises because of friction and the extent to which the pavement opposes the motion of the tires now in order to find out the acceleration of the car in this case we use a diagram like this and first of all we calculate the net force that is exerted on the car now we know that since all these forces are acting along one direction so they can be added as collinear vectors to obtain the net force hence 275 plus 395 minus 560 will give us net force sigma f which will turn out to be plus 110 newton since mass is given here force is we have calculated already so using newton second law of motion a will be equal to sigma f over m so substituting the values of these two quantities sigma f and m the acceleration of the car comes out to be when you calculate it is 0.059 meter per second square the plus sign indicates that the acceleration points along the x axis in the same direction as the net force now here i will emphasize another property inertia how it is related with mass so inertia is actually property of a body by virtue of which it opposes any agency that attempts to put it in motion or if it is moving to change the magnitude or direction of its velocity so lighter masses have less inertia and more massive bodies have more inertia this is the reason that lighter masses are accelerated more and heavier bodies they are accelerated less if we use the same applied force as shown in this diagram so i have again shown this picture in a magnified view to emphasize that the magnitude of the acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass so newton second law of motion actually consist of two parts one is that acceleration is proportional to force and secondly acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass thank you for watching